10 and 0. What we're practicing today, we're looking at the link between the opening and mid, which usually can happen very quickly. So it's that invisible line of opening to mid. We've done the end game transition, sorry, the mid game transition into the end game. <clears throat> We've looked at the opening as a sort of like dominating factor. And now we just want to look at that invisible line between opening and mid. We've covered it before in the know your chess phases. So that answers quite a lot of that. But we just want to now look at that fine line between opening. In my head, when I've got my king to safety at some point and the pieces are fairly developed out, I would class that as the opening has finished. So we've castled. We haven't got the bishop out, but I wouldn't say that we're not completely finished from the opening. My king is safe. Now I'm now looking to transfer into the mid game. My king is safe. Let's now look at how we can transition from the mid into the end as well. So the smaller piece attack and the higher piece usually can't be wrong. So we're going to attack the knight. Now we're basically throwing ourselves into that fine line of opening to the mid game. Even though the bishop is on the back here, um, most would probably say, no, you've got to be fully developed before you then class in it as the full opening. For me, there's that fine line because the mid game can disappear just like that. And then you find yourself in the end game before you know it. So I think really understanding what phase you are in, all the nooks and crannies of that phase, yeah, and that fine line needs to be addressed so that you know where you are in those phases. So the knight's in, and we can take just to not mess about, and we can take and attack the bishop with the knight, and we can take the bishop off the board. And as you can see, we're doing all these actions, and the bishop's still not off of the back of the um, uh, rank yet. This is why I'm classing it as the fine line of we are actually in the mid game. So we're going to obviously transpose this and go for an next way through to the queen. I'm going to keep that diagonal. I think I'm happy with the bishop even sitting here if it's going to be coming and attacking. So they're not doing that at the minute. So we are comfortable now continuing building on the mid game looking to try and get the end game by pushing this pawn upwards and upwards this bishop really doesn't kind of have a place here and um, it's maybe it's looking for the rook to move off of that line but i'm going to continue with the pawn pushing up and then hitting the bishop as well just keeping that pressure on the bishop has to move and is there anything different that we can do we've still got the x-ray through to the queen this pawn's now acting as a good guarder against this pawn potentially attacking. They may do that anyway, but it does open up their king. So it's positive, mid-game progression. Probably looking to attack the middle of the snake with this pawn. Do we benefit from anything taking here? The knight's not going to take because the bishop's still got the x-ray through. The queen could probably take and not mind doubling the pawns. Like I say, it does give make their king a little bit airy. So we could take, or we could get the knight off the board. Because the knight isn't really going to be moving because the bishop is on the queen. So it looks like we'll be getting the knight for free. If they don't find any magic. And they've gone for opening up the space around their king. So we will take on pass all. Still pressure on the knight. Still in the mid game. Yep, so we've opened. We're fairly comfortable with opening. Now we're in the mid game looking for the transition and taking queens off the board. Doesn't mean you've won the game because you've won the queen. It's just a nice piece to have taken. Now it looks like they're giving pieces up. Is there anything that we can do in terms of 
Checks, checks, checks. Not really. Let's just take the bishop. Looks like they definitely are just giving pieces up. Okay, so they're a bit annoyed. They're just giving everything up now, uh, which is fine. It happens. Let's take, go with the queen. And last but not least, might as well save the bishop. Put a check on. And put a check on mate. Okay, nice one.